how was TwitchCon? Let me go ahead and answer that. Let me go ahead and answer that. TwitchCon was, um, I don't even know how TwitchCon was. <laughs> I barely went to it. I was there for, um, I think a total of three hours in total. Yeah, what a, what a fing, what a trip. Here's what I'm gonna say. All right, here's what I'm gonna say. I am down tremendously. Chat, for the love of God, use your primes. For the love of God, buy gamer subs. Use code Puffer for the love for the love that is all and holy. I am down tremendously. This moment, I don't know how to play blackjack. Oh, I know how to play blackjack. Let me go ahead and say it right now. I was fucking good at blackjack, all right? It's when I would play something else. It's when I lost all my money. How much did you lose? I don't. I don't know, actually. Here's what I will say, okay? I have like $900 in my wallet right now. Like $900 cash. That's how much money I have. Now, how much money I pulled out of the bank? That's a good question. At least I left with some money. You know, I left with some money. Over 10K? No, I will say not over 10K. Not over 10K. No, 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 no. I will say I was not the one who lost the most money this trip. We're going to go ahead and give that to Sniping Soup. Everyone round applause for Sniping Soup. He is 100% the guy who lost the most money. Soup is one of the most impressive gamblers I've ever seen in my life. I shit you not, this man would be up thousands. Up, up. Let me, let me tell you right now, chat. He had about $7,000 worth of chips. And then he would lose it all. He would just put it all in one hand. And then it, he would get a fucking 13 and the dealer would get a a king and then, and then we'd be like it's, it's over at that point it's chalked it's chalked you know at that point it's just fucking over you have to hit and then if you don't hit you're just gonna lose to the dealer it's fucking over bro it, it's it's so depressing but but he worked his way up the guy was insane at blackjack he would literally we, we would do like something else he would go to a blackjack table with like 500 bucks come back with 5k he's like yeah i, I kind of killed it over there and then we would watch him lose all his money <laughs> Chat, uh, the $1,000 on red, I did do it. Here's the thing, okay? Here's what I'm gonna go say right now, okay? Uh, Vegas is very hard to vlog. And the reason why is because when you're gambling, you can't record. You can't pull out your phone. You're sitting at the table. You cannot pull out your phone. You're behind them. You cannot pull out your phone. You can't record at all, right? So I didn't ever understand there's gonna be no vlog. But we're gonna do the thing that we did last time where I talk about my experience and I'm gonna show you guys footage and show you videos and show you photos of everything that happened, okay? But there is no vlog because literally it is impossible to do in Vegas. You see Pezzy's insane case opening? No, I did not see that. But you mean to tell me that Pezzy didn't come to Vegas to gamble, but instead gambled on fucking CS cases? Basically, there's a story, Chad. There's a whole story here, okay? I think the only person that came out positive in Vegas was <laughs> I don't even know I don't even know maybe maybe crispy crispy was actually killing it crispy was doing really good so basically here's how it all went right we got a penthouse I'm gonna go say right now shout out to gamer subs they did the whole fucking thing gamer subs chat code puffer group chat fuck that place up yeah no, let's talk about that in a minute okay. this was our view Okay, this was our view, chat. Look at this shit, bro. Look how high we were. Dude, it's fucking insane. You can literally see the fucking dome right here, which is ugly as shit, by the way. But, you know, the dome is there. 60th floor. We're on the 60th floor, chat. I'm not gonna lie. I, I would never buy something like this. I don't care how rich I am. I don't care how much money I have. I would probably never buy something like this. So shout out to Game Stuff. That's all I gotta say right now. How long was that elevator ride? Okay, that was like the only fucking issue was the fucking elevator ride because... Every time you exit, when you go up, it wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't that bad. What is it? It's when you go down, you stop six fucking times to get people in, you know? That that was like the only bad thing about it. It's like when you go down, you gotta stop like six fucking times, you know? But yeah, here's $5. here's that's my bar of the Spider Man. <laughs> hey, look at that shit, bro. Oh my god. Look at that fucking ugly fucking ball over there. But anyways, this was basically our um stay it was great shout out to gamer subs it was fantastic twitchcon in vegas so here's the thing okay vegas is a nightlife city it is nightlife like a motherfucker right like yeah, that is the only time you're gonna enjoy vegas is nightlife twitchcon like i said i was there for three hours max in three days three hours max here's the, also the issue is that it wasn't in the strip it was at the las vegas convention center so it was like a 25 minute Uber ride minimum to the convention because the strip is awful with, you know, with traffic, right? It's fucking terrible. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't think it was the best destination, 
in my opinion i kind of hope uh twitchcon is somewhere else next year it, like i said it was kind of a bitch to get to i was never able to be there that long but other than that like i like i said i enjoyed my stay you know i enjoyed my time i really did enjoy it and Diego was pr is probably better for it you know what about group chat yeah we hung out with the group chat we hung out with the group chat a lot uh, the group chat is coming out with a new flavor. I mean, it was all over fucking Twitter. This is their goddamn flavor, bro. Fucking gamer lean. They got Joe Biden on the fucking cover. And you know what's so funny about it? It's actually really good. I think it might be my new favorite flavor. I'm not gonna lie. I think this is my new favorite flavor. I gotta give it to them. How the fuck is that legal? I don't know. This got through legal. I don't know how it did, but it's really fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all don't like Joe Biden's copyright. I mean, shit, bro. The president of the United States, it might be a little copyright. <laughs> Like I said, I I, well, I, I tried the vlog. Oh, we saw the we saw that we saw that chat. Look look at that. We saw the we saw the water. The water's cool, right? I'm not gonna lie. It looked terrible on the camera. That, that looks fucking shit on the camera. It looked it looked terrible on the camera. You can't even tell what the fuck's going on. That looks fucking awful. You can't even tell what's going on. Wow, look at that. Dude. Make it look better. I'll make it look better. Oh shit. Does it look cooler? Yeah, dude, it's like a trippy immersion. You got fucking vodka on my phone. <laughs> he actually did get vodka on my phone. Friday, the first day we got in, I'm not gonna lie, that was uh, the worst night <laughs> because I got fucking hammered and I lost the most money. <laughs> Here's what I will say as well. Fucking Buffalo! Buffalo is one of the most addicting fucking machines in the goddamn world. Look at this shit. <laughs> Buffalo! It was fucking ridiculous, dude. We spent so much time on this stupid fucking machine, bro. <laughs> I lost the most money on roulette. Um, I made the most on blackjack. Actually, that's a lie. I learned how to play craps. I've never learned how to play craps. I thought it was super difficult. And then I was taught how to play craps. And it's actually not that hard. And it's probably the most fun I've ever had. Craps is really fun when the whole table is a group of people that you know. You know what I mean? Because then everyone wins or everyone loses. Uh, here's some more photos of everything that happened. Matt trying to, you know, take photos. Yep, yeah, we look great. And this is a text that I sent to Megan. Um, <laughs> Newsflash. Um, I did not win. <laughs> Newsflash. She does not have any new Chanel shoes. Yeah, no, she does not. Um, here's a video of Matt being in a shoe. That's pretty poggers. Matt, if I put him in a coffin, Matt's in a fucking shoe. He just decided to get in it. I don't think he's supposed to get in it, but he got in it anyways. Here is the proof, okay? I am not going to spoil it if I won or lost, which will be in the meme video, by the way. It'll be in the reaction video on Puffer TV. Uh, here's a random drunk photo with me and Crispy. We look fantastic. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea whose sunglasses the, uh, these are. I don't even remember taking this photo. You look drunk as hell? Oh, I was. I was so, I was stupid drunk Friday night. Saturday morning, I did not leave my bed until 3 p.m. I'm not gonna lie to you. I woke up at like 11 and I was like, I need like another hour. And then I slept another extra four hours. Here is my drunk ass asleep on the bed and then, or my hungover ass to sleep. And then here is Matt stealing my phone to take photos. Literally stole my fucking phone to take these photos. <laughs> yeah, bro looks mad comfy. The bed, hey, the bed was fucking comfy as shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Those are very comfy beds. So on Saturday, uh, Matt and Soup went to TwitchCon and they did like a little meetup at the Gamer Subs booth and I wanted to go, right? I Ubered there and I didn't eat anything, right? Uh... Oh shit, what the hell? Wait, I gotta make a phone call. Oh shit. Wait, hold on. Hold on, give me a minute. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Everyone hold. Three weeks later. Gamer subs meet up. Right. Okay. Gamer subs meet up. So yeah, here's what happened, right? They was soup and uh soup and Matt went to the meetup. I arrived late. Here's what I will say. I showed up to the I showed up to TwitchCon. One hungover and two very, very hung hungry. Here's what I will say. If you met me before the gamer subs booth. You did not meet me. I was not myself. I was miserable. I was dead. If you met me, I'm sorry if I was like, if I didn't say anything, I'm sorry if I felt, if I'm sorry if it felt like I was being a dickhead because I was fucking miserable. Basically, I went to the cafeteria in TwitchCon, ate some shitty fucking pizza. I threw it away because it was fucking terrible. I can't believe I paid for that. Um, but then basically, I went to the Gamer Subs booth, uh, met everyone. Uh, tried fucking gamer lean. It's fucking great. Um, actually, I have a video of it right here. Here, boom, look at this.
Code puffer. Code puffer. Code, code puffer, by the way. Code puffer. Code puffer. Basically, yeah, we I went there, met a bunch of people. Gamer Subs had a whole ass booth and they were fucking fantastic. My first would put the shit in a double cup too. They did. They literally put it in a double cup. Hold on, hold on. There's a video. I took a video. So basically they had like a tent and in the back is where they were making like all the uh all the stuff. Look at this shit that that chat. They fucking cooking it up back here. <laughs> They cooking it up back here, baby. <laughs> Walter, we gotta cook game of subs, Walter. They were cooking that shit, bro. But anyways, yeah, the new um, gamer lean, fucking great. When you buy it, use Code Buffer. Anyways, here's the stupid face at the dome as well. Like I said, this thing is fucking ridiculous. Okay, so basically, TwitchCon happened. We were at Gamer Subs booth. We left, and then we had dinner later that night. Um, We went to this, like, hot pot place, which has, like, a fucking ridiculous, like, 5D dinner experience. Not gonna lie, not that great. I was still hungry after it. Was not that delicious. Here is a video showcasing the experience of it. Here you go. You know, we were getting eaten and shit. You know? It's me a little scared. It's okay. By the way, gamer subs pay for that dinner too. So, like I said, chat code puffer, code puffer, please, for the love of God, chat. They paid for all of it. Code, F, code puffer. Here is a random video of the strip. I just took a video showing it off, you know, because you know we just walked around the strip the whole. Basically, we just stayed around the strip the whole time. How bad did the strip smell? Oh yeah. Oh, there were some times where it just smelled terrible. Oh yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. There were just some times where it just smelled fucking awful. Vegas food, not that good. Not that good. Out of everywhere I've been, Boston's way better. Toronto's way better. Everywhere, way better than Vegas, in my personal opinion. Saturday night went really fucking good until it didn't. We went to Caesars this time. And Caesars, woo Those motherfuckers know how to gamble. Caesars, we sat at this one blackjack table, and we were there for like three fucking hours. We had this girl who was the dealer. Her name was Elizabeth. She worked there for 24 years. What a fucking queen oh my she was the best bro she was just giving she was just feeding us money she was just feeding us money caesar's went well and then basically it was kind of like a, a you know we went home we went home at like 4 a.m didn't stay out that late <laughs> which is ridiculous because 4 a.m is like 6 a.m for me but you know and then sunday uh was my meetup <laughs> So this is a video I recorded of everyone cheering. It was not as loud as the first time. One, thank you everyone for coming to the meetup. I was not expecting this big of a fucking turnaround. Um, the line was all the way to the fucking end and people kept showing up the entire fucking time. So the line kept getting longer. Once one person left, a new person showed up. Y'all ridiculous. Y'all were great. It was lovely meeting everyone there. Y'all were all fantastic. I took Matt with me to the meetup, right? Matt was like, let me come with you. I'm like, all right, bet you come with me. Because we had like, we had the same fucking audience. You know what I mean? He was like, Puffer, if they cheer for you, I'm, I'm going to kick you in the balls. Like, there's no way they cheer. Like, if they cheer like some fucking 12-year-old girls for Taylor Swift, I'm going to lose my shit. And I was like, I hope to God they don't cheer. We walked out. The entire fucking line screamed as loud as they could. We didn't ask them to. I don't know who asked them to. Nobody else's line screamed. There were a bunch of other people doing meetups. No one else's line screamed. Maybe like Tina Kitten. I think her line screamed, right? Because she was also there. Everyone just fucking screamed. And I was just like, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no, ain't no way y'all motherfuckers screaming. <laughs> I'm not that important, I promise you. I'm not that important. There's no way y'all scream for me. Every time you do these meetups, you have like an assistant, right? And she was like, okay, your line's over here. She took us to the wrong line. There was no one there. And the line was dead empty. And I was like, oh, wow. Wow, no one showed. <laughs> and then she was like, no, oh shit, my fault. Your line's right here. And then we turn around, the line's right there. And then, yeah, there's a big ass fucking line. I stole my sign, by the way. I stole it. I, I'm getting rid of this one because this one's fucking dog shit. It's too long. They made a smaller one this time that gets fit in suitcases. And then I took this video of this last guy. This is the last guy in my meetup. Shout out to this guy. He was the last fucking guy. Shout out to this guy who every time he wanted a photo, this is like the second time he wanted a photo, he had the original iPod. Look at this fucking thing. Look how tiny it is. It, I don't know if you can tell on video, but it is fucking tiny. And every time he took photos on it, and he's a fucking baller. Just gonna put that out there. He is amazing. Uh, we went to the Gamer Subs party, which was fucking ridiculous. There were so many people there. Here, I will go just... 
I just want a drink. He just wants a drink. You know why? Chad, should you not? We were there. I didn't, we didn't get a single drink. I will say, though, that we did play Call of Duty on this screen right here. You can't really tell. We played split screen Call of Duty Black Ops 3 right there. Later that night, we went to fucking Hell's Kitchen. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, shit. Fuck off. so excited. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen was fucking great. Best meal we had, I'm not gonna lie. That was the best meal 100% because, I mean, like, literally, I got to eat a steak. I didn't eat steak that entire fucking weekend until Hell's Kitchen, you know? I tried to take a photo of the Hell's Kitchen sign, and I said I took a video, and it's just, and it's just Matt jumping in front of it. That was supposed to be a photo, and it was accidentally a video. <laughs> here's a, here's a random, I, I took this random ass video oh, of the kitchen. I took a video of the kitchen. Look at the kitchen, chat. There's Ethan. Where was the lamb sauce? I don't know what, I, I, was I drunk? I don't even know. And then I ordered a drink and this is what the message I got. I, I think the drink was called Notes from Gordon and it came with a little message. You use so much oil, the US wants to invade the fucking plate. Fucking great ass quote. And then I took a picture of Buffalo. <laughs> Because, uh, Buffalo! God damn, bro. This goddamn fucking machine had me by the balls. It gripped me by the balls, chat. That was my Vegas trip. Uh, that, that was it. Basically, we went there. We had fun. We gambled. We lost a lot of money. Yeah.